What is going on guys? So in my last video I stated that I was gonna do my rear disc conversion and I am but I'm still waiting on my parts to come. Today I got like one of my brackets that I'm using. It's called the Scarebird brake caliper conversion. And what it is is you don't need to replace your OEM trailing arm, which on my car I don't want to because if I replace the trail arm to the Integra trail arms with the rear disc, I won't be able to use my function seven lower control arms and my coils because the LCA is on the Tegra and I think the EGs are a little thicker. The bottom of the strut, my Coney's won't fit over the LCA's that they come stock with and then also my Function 7 LCA's won't fit. So I did buy the Scarebird brackets and make them in the yesterday. I don't know if most of you guys know what these are. They're made by Scarebird. They go right onto your wheel hub, so you have to take off your whole drum assembly, the, the drum cylinder or the wheel cylinder and the pads and everything, and then take off the whole um, housing of it, and then this goes right onto your rear hub. I'm not sure if you need to, or actually, what am I saying? I don't know which one this is. I don't know if it goes like this or like this. I have to look at it when I install it, but they give you hardware also. Here. They give you hardware for these are here. They go into the factory OEM holes that are on your hub. I think it's, there should be eight of them. Oh, there's ten of them. I think they give you for the calipers too. And then, of course, when you do buy this, you need to buy rear Integra calipers or the EM1 calipers, the SI ones. And I have the Integra calipers hidden in all of it. Which is right over here, and I need to actually take these out and check to see if they line up on the calipers. So these are Integra rig calipers. The way you can tell is because this piece here for the e-brake cable, they go like that. Well, once I mount them, I'll figure it out. Actually, it should go like this. No, it should go like this. Yeah, it should go like this. So the holes line up. You can see that? Yeah, it lines up. So I'm not too positive which one is which side <laughs> until I do it. But these are Integra rear calipers. I bought this from Utah from Nima's Garage. Got for I think 20 bucks. They're so good. I just gotta clean them up a bit. And then the e-brake cables, of course, will go onto the rear calipers. But these brackets, they do cost around $85. You can always go to the junkyard and buy OEM rear trailing arms for the Integra and put it on. But like I said, I don't want to change my bottom of my strut and also my LCAs won't fit anymore. So that's why I got these brackets. A lot of people are actually running these brackets. They're really good quality. Look at the welds. Really like stacking dimes. Really good quality. So. Can't wait to put this on. My e-brake cables, I think, are coming in the mail today. And I still need to go to a rally to buy the Integra rear rotors. And these already have pads on, so I'm gonna use those. I don't need no like crazy race pads on the rears because all the stuff card is in the front. So I guess this video is just telling you guys what you guys need if you guys want to get the rear disc conversion done. This is just my way. I'm not getting a whole trail arm assembly like I did in the past. Actually, I, I think I bought two sets of trailer arms, but never ended up using them. So I decided to do this and buying these sc Scarebird brackets. I'll link you guys. This is something that a lot of people are using, but I think you do spend a little more money by getting these because you have to buy the brackets for 85 bucks. The calipers I got for 20 bucks, both of the rear calipers, so I got lucky in that. E-brake cables, I bought them new from Rock Auto for $60 for two or $50 from rockauto.com. I'll link you guys for that too. That site, has everything. You can buy everything for cheap, you can buy everything new, and everything compared to buying from O'Reilly's and all that. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, and you need just the rotors. I'm gonna buy O'Reilly's rotors because they are lifetime warranty. I think they're 20 bucks each, so 40 bucks. So it's like roughly 200 plus, but you can source everything out for cheap if you do end up finding it for cheap. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, you need brake fluid too, because you gotta leave the brakes. And I am getting stainless steel brake lines for all, all four of my lines from Ryan Brill. I need to go pick those up before I install all of them. And then I got the brakes again. And finally gonna have rear disc conversion. Those of you that keep saying, oh, you have drums still? What the fuck? All the stopping power is in the front, not the rears. So, yeah. That's why I haven't done it for so long, but I had these parts just laying around. So, finally time to do it. And, yep, this is just a update video telling you guys what you guys need for all that. And I'll end this video by just showing you guys 
the not the livery, the livery. Livery, I'm sorry for all those that watch my other videos and I say it wrong, but livery. Stay tuned, no more red drums. Getting rid of that shit, so peace out. So I thought that was the end of the video, but some time has passed. I say roughly like 30, 40, 50 minutes has passed and I went to go pick up the brake line cables from uh, Ryan Brill. I'll link his Instagram inside my description box. If you guys don't know what that is, click on the thing at the bottom and I'll show you all the links and the music that I get. But I picked these up from him. He made me a full front and rears. The gold ones are the fronts and the black ones are the rears, you can see. He makes a lot of brake lines or he can make brake lines, clutch lines, fuel lines, all that. If you just uh, DM him on Instagram, I'll link his, like I said, I'll link his Instagram in the bottom. I'll quote you on what he, pretty much on these. And they're really good quality. This, this is the same thing as buying like Wilwood or StopTech stainless steel braided lines. These are braided lines. They just have a black jacket over them to protect the lines underneath. So thank you, Ryan, for those. Can't wait to install them once I do all my, well, once I do the rear disc conversion, of course. And when I got home, the mailman dropped off a package from Rock Auto. I was saying to you guys what the site is. They sell a lot of like, you know, use OEM, well, OEM whatever style parts, whatever it's called, for, you know, a lot of cars. So rockauto.com, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, I'm just saying it, because I, yeah, I got my eBay cables from them for cheap. So I'm telling you guys where I got them. And there we go. Uh, let me put this. So, these are e-brake cables. SI e-brake cables. So I'm praying that um, since these are aftermarket, these are OMD, they will fit. That right there goes into the rear calipers. And, and that one right there goes on the right next to your e-brake. So I bought these two. I think it says right or left. Well, I don't think it really matters because I think these brakes they spin around. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. Or I don't know. We'll see. Parking brake cable. Part numbers by Ray Bistos. That's the brand or whatever it's called. When you go to buy them from the dealership, they're a little more expensive, so I did buy the market ones. But I pretty much have everything that. I I need for the rear disc conversion. You brake cables, calipers I put back over there. That's pretty much what you need for a rear disc conversion if you're planning to do the scarebird brackets like what I have that are ordered. So yep, I don't know what else to do for this video. Peace out and look forward to the installation video. And I will try to make it as detailed as possible for you guys so you guys could get it down and it won't be that you know easy. I'll link all the parts I have in this or I bought in the description box below so you guys can see how much it costs. But yeah, so yeah, peace.